Greetings, this is Gynthian, and today I am playing on the Veil using Minecraft 1.20.1. I have been working on a storage system to clean up the mess that I have between shulker boxes and chests and stuff everywhere. Last time I put in a system created by Etho that didn't use any redstone and tried to force items into chests and therefore auto-sorted them. I got this from his episode 4 in Herbitcraft 10. I tried it out, it seems to work. But I discovered that it is not conducive to all of the larger lists of items. In other words, I need to put the s pull out the stone and the cobblestone and the deep slate and a lot of those items that I'm going to have a lot of and save the smaller items for the etho system. So that means building an item sorter. Let's log out and I'll be back in a minute. What? What is going on? <laughs> holy, holy crap. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, he finished. It's got to be Scully. He filled in everything with these. Every floor. Wow. It's gonna take me a while to get all rid of, get take this all down. I guess that seems fair. I've left just I've done stuff like this at his place. Just keep looking around for a second. Oh my god. Yeah. He put it everywhere. Wow. So, I'm gonna have to uh, take some time and uh, I got the hiccups. Take some time and go through here and remove all of these. And I have to do it with something. If I want to keep them, I have to do it with something that has uh, silk touch. I wonder if you can do it with what shears. Let's find out. But, uh, these up here, these are the one with silk touch. So let's first let's try these shears. Shears work. So, with that in mind, let me let me make this change, and we'll get back to what we were working on. Well. That took about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to clean up, I gotta say. I don't think he really understood how large my base was. I thought this was hilarious. No, no harm, no foul. It was a great prank. Thought it was funny. So, Skelly, thank you for that. Now, back to my item sorter. Item sorters take a lot of resources. Let me show you. This is my bamboo farm. It will provide the wood I need for all of the chests and for the hoppers. I have a source of iron. So when it comes to building hoppers, I can use the chests and the iron. So mostly I need wood, or in this case, bamboo. 
regrettably this is a manual process but you go to the chest you pull all of the bamboo out then you can convert it to blocks of bamboo and then you convert those to planks of bamboo as if they were logs then we can convert them to chests and we repeat that process until we have used up our bamboo and created enough chests for our needs and since this is cr collecting a lot of bamboo we're going to be able to have a lot of chests I've already got two stacks worth and I'm not done so after this I can make hoppers from the using the iron that I have stored away in a chest iron blocks and then I will have the hoppers and the chest that I need all I need then is the comparators repeaters and other redstone items to build the redstone behind the sorting system that I will be working on. To do this, of course, I also have to gather up the redstone components, and that will mean a trip to the city of Upper Gralt. It's not really a city, it's more of a town with a bunch of villagers that I can trade with, one of which is the cleric who will trade me for redstone powder. The design for the item sorter is something I saw from Impulse. He did a video where he explained it and built it. I've used some other explanations since then, but that was where it originated. And so that's the sorter I will be building. As you can see here, this is a shulker box full of my supplies and I have a lot of chests and a lot of hoppers. Another thing I plan on doing is expanding the room that my sorting system currently resides because I think the item sorter is going to take up a lot more space. So that means being creative and, and building that room out even bigger. So shall we start? Let's go gather all that up and get to building. In fact, I'm going to work on it some and come back with an update. And I am back. And I have been building a lot after gathering a lot of resources. I'm noticing the floor is messed up. The copper has turned colors. But anyway, to my right and your left, there is the sorting system that has been built. But that's not all I've done. I broke out the wall behind here and I have added a beacon. I gotta tell you, I wish I had a beacon a long, long time ago. As you know, most of my base is built out by digging through this mountain. And a beacon makes it so much nicer, so much faster. Insta mining the stone, which is just amazing. Let me take a second and show you what I mean. Okay, here I am. This video is not sped up. If you're looking up you can't see where you're going so you fall but this is what insta mining looks like it's not sped up at all I just mine that quickly which is fantastic like I said I've mined so many blocks at this point over 85,000 stone blocks have been mined. Now we're mining a different location. We'll just mine this out real fast. Then I can go back over it just to get those spots I missed.
there's just nothing that compares to this. I would have to say this is just really satisfying. And that's what mining's like when you have a beacon and a efficiency 5 pickaxe. And these are netherite pickaxes. So yeah, that is fun. It takes me mere minutes to clear out these huge blocks. Which is definitely the way to go. Now I said I was going to be working on a storage system and I've been creating more space instead and working on the floor but the sorting system that I have built so far this is I kept the button I have the blocks down here right in front of them to dis to show you what is being collected in each of these towers of chests and I can see a lot of things that I are missing which is why I'm gonna end up extending this whole sorting system this way and as we go but that's the plan for now but I have actually run out of time. So look for finishing or at least working on the sorting system more next time. And that we'll be back. So please, thank you for watching. Goodbye.